Infidelity is one of the most difficult and painful experiences anyone can face in a relationship. But what if there were signs, clues hidden in her words and actions that could alert you before things spiral out of control? The truth is, when a woman cheats, there's often a subtle shift in how she communicates with you. It's rarely a sudden confession or an obvious change in behavior, but rather something much more nuanced. Women, like men, may not always come right out and say what's happening, but they often drop hints through their words and actions. And when a woman cheats, there's usually one thing she says first, even if you don't notice it right away. In today's video, we're diving into the world of female psychology and uncovering the subtle signs of infidelity. We'll explore the psychology behind why a woman may cheat, what shifts in her communication, and, most importantly, what she's likely to say when she first starts pulling away emotionally. These aren't just random observations. They're based on patterns of behavior that most men miss until it's too late. Understanding these early signs isn't about becoming paranoid or jumping to conclusions. It's about being aware and emotionally intelligent, so you can either address the problem head-on or avoid the emotional devastation that comes with betrayal. If you've ever wondered what really happens when a woman cheats and how to recognize the signs before it's too late, this is the video for you. We'll break down exactly what to look for and why these signals are often overlooked. Ready to find out what she says first when she cheats? Let's get into it. The emotional distance. How her tone changes. First, one of the earliest signs that a woman may be pulling away emotionally is a subtle shift in her tone and the overall energy of your conversations. This emotional distance is often the first indicator that something is off. When a woman starts to lose connection or engages in infidelity, it's rarely as overt as a sudden change in behavior. Instead, it's the gradual withdrawal of her warmth, enthusiasm, and the natural flow of communication that you once shared. Tone is a powerful indicator of emotional distance. In the beginning stages of a relationship or during its healthiest phases, conversations flow easily. There's a mutual interest in each other's day-to-day -day lives and responses are typically warm and engaged. However, when something begins to shift, especially in the context of infidelity, her responses may become less enthusiastic, more reserved or even indifferent. You might start to notice that she no longer asks about your day or doesn't seem as interested in sharing details about hers. This emotional distance manifests in subtle ways. For instance, where she once greeted you with a cheerful, Hey, how was your day? Now there might be a simple, detached, Hi. It's not just about what she says, but how she says it. The warmth in her voice that once made you feel close may be replaced by a colder, more distant tone. This shift is often unintentional, as many women who cheat struggle with guilt or internal conflict, and that emotional disconnection can seep into how they communicate with their partner. Shorter, less engaging responses are another common sign. Instead of long, involved conversations where she shares stories, feelings and experiences, her responses might become clipped or vague. You might ask how her day was, and she'll respond with something like, it was fine, without elaborating. This lack of depth and unwillingness to open up is often a way to emotionally protect herself, creating a barrier between you. The once vibrant conversations about future plans, shared dreams, or even random daily thoughts start to fade, replaced by silence or minimal interaction. You might also notice that the enthusiasm in her texts or messages diminishes. Where she used to send you cute emojis, ask how you were doing, or check in during the day, her texts may become increasingly businesslike or sparse. The excitement she once had in communicating with you starts to fade, and you're left wondering why she seems uninterested or distracted. Her body language during conversations, even over the phone or video calls, can also be revealing. 
Emotional distance often shows up in a lack of eye contact, distracted behavior, or a general lack of engagement. You may feel like she's mentally somewhere else when you're talking to her. These non-verbal cues are just as telling as her words. If she's emotionally disconnected, it can feel as though there's an invisible wall between the two of you, even when you're sitting right next to each other. One of the reasons this emotional distance is so powerful is because it creates a sense of unease in the relationship. Even if you can't quite put your finger on it, you start to sense that something is wrong. This change in tone, in her level of engagement, and in the emotional connection you share, is often the first sign that there's a deeper issue, whether that's infidelity or an emotional disconnection. The challenge is that this stage is often subtle, and many people either ignore it or convince themselves that it's just a phase. But emotional distance rarely resolves itself on its own. It's usually a sign that something needs to be addressed. It's important to note that not all emotional distance means she's cheating. Sometimes women pull back emotionally for other reasons, such as stress, personal issues, or dissatisfaction in the relationship. However, if this emotional distance is combined with other signs, such as defensiveness, secrecy, or changes in her routine, it could be an indicator that infidelity is involved. In conclusion, one of the first things a woman may do when she cheats, or is considering it, is to emotionally distance herself. This emotional withdrawal often shows up in her tone, her lack of enthusiasm, and a general disconnection from the relationship. The shift is subtle, but it's powerful because it indicates that she's no longer emotionally invested in the same way. By recognizing this early sign, you can open up a conversation and try to address the issue before it escalates. Deflecting conversations when she avoids direct questions. When a woman is hiding something, especially if she's cheating, one of the clearest signs can be how she navigates conversations. Deflecting direct questions or avoiding certain topics is a common defense mechanism when guilt or secrecy is at play. If you notice that your once open and honest conversations are now filled with vague answers, deflections or sudden changes in subject, it may be a sign that something deeper is going on. Deflecting often starts subtly, with small shifts in how she responds to questions. For instance, you might ask her something straightforward like, where were you last night? Or, how was your day? If she's being truthful and open, she'll likely answer without hesitation. However, if she's hiding something, her responses may become vague or non-committal. Instead of saying, I went out with some friends, she might respond with, I was just out. Or, why are you asking? These responses shift the focus away from her actions and place the attention back on you, making it seem like you're the one being unreasonable for asking. One of the most common deflection techniques is answering a question with a question. When you ask her something and she responds with, why do you want to know? Or, why are you so curious? It's a way to avoid giving a direct answer. This method subtly puts you on the defensive and shifts the conversation away from her. Instead of being upfront about where she was or what she's been doing, she turns the conversation back to your motivations for asking. This kind of response can create confusion and make you second-guess whether you're overreacting, but it's often a red flag. Another key sign of deflection is when she changes the subject altogether. If you're trying to have a serious conversation or ask her direct questions about her behavior or recent changes, and she suddenly steers the conversation in a completely different direction, it's a clear attempt to avoid discussing the topic at hand. For example, you might bring up concerns about her spending more time away from home, and instead of addressing it, she might pivot to something unrelated like, Have you seen the new show on Netflix? Or, I've been meaning to ask you about your weekend plans. This abrupt shift can be frustrating, as it leaves your concerns unaddressed, but it's a deliberate tactic to avoid answering your questions. Deflection can also take the form of minimizing your concerns. If you ask her about something that's been bothering you, and she responds with, you're overthinking it, or it's not a big deal, She's dismissing your feelings rather than engaging with the issue. While everyone can be guilty of minimizing conflict to avoid an argument, 
Repeated instances of this, especially when you're trying to address serious concerns, can indicate that she's avoiding responsibility or hiding something. When a woman cheats, she may not want to face difficult questions that could expose the truth, so she tries to downplay your concerns as unimportant or unreasonable. Another red flag is when she becomes defensive the moment you ask a seemingly innocent question. If you notice that she reacts with irritation or frustration when you ask about her whereabouts or activities, it could be a sign that she's uncomfortable with the topic because she's hiding something. Instead of responding calmly, she may lash out with phrases like, Why are you always questioning me? Or, Do you not trust me? This type of defensiveness is often a way to deflect the conversation and make you feel like you're in the wrong for asking. However, when there's nothing to hide, a person usually won't respond so defensively to simple questions. Another aspect of deflection is withholding information. When a woman is cheating, she may avoid giving you specific details about her plans, who she's been with, or where she's going. For example, instead of saying, I'm going to dinner with Sarah and a few friends, she might just say, I'm going out with some people, leaving out key details. This vagueness is intentional because it prevents you from asking follow-up questions or piecing together any inconsistencies. By keeping things vague, she creates a shield around herself, making it harder for you to know what's really going on. Over time, you might also notice that she avoids deeper conversations altogether. If you used to talk openly about your relationship, your future, and your feelings, but now she seems uninterested in having those discussions, it could be a sign that she's emotionally checked out. Avoiding meaningful conversations is another form of deflection, because it prevents any opportunity for the truth to surface. Instead of working through problems or discussing where the relationship stands, she may stick to small talk or avoid serious topics entirely, making it harder for you to address the growing distance between you. In conclusion, deflecting conversations is a common strategy when a woman is hiding something, especially infidelity. Whether it's answering questions with questions, changing the subject, or becoming defensive, these are signs that she's avoiding giving you the full truth. While everyone deflects uncomfortable questions from time to time, if you notice a consistent pattern of deflection in your relationship, it may be time to address the issue directly. Paying attention to how she navigates these conversations can give you insight into whether there's something deeper going on beneath the surface. Increased criticism. Why she starts picking fights. When a woman cheats, guilt or emotional disconnect often leads to a significant behavioral change. She may begin to criticize you more frequently or pick fights over seemingly minor issues. This shift in her behavior may feel confusing or even hurtful, especially if the criticisms seem unwarranted or exaggerated. However, this increased criticism is often a psychological defense mechanism, allowing her to project her own internal conflict outward rather than face what's really going on inside. Criticism can manifest in various ways, and one of the most common signs is when small, insignificant things suddenly become major sources of frustration for her. Perhaps you've always been a little messy, or maybe you forget to put away the dishes from time to time, things that she used to tolerate or even joke about. But now, these little habits might start to irritate her to the point where she's making a big deal out of them. For example, she might say, you never help around the house anymore, or you don't even care about keeping things clean. While these criticisms seem related to minor issues, they're often rooted in deeper dissatisfaction that she's either unable or unwilling to directly address. Unexplained irritability is another indicator that something deeper might be going on. If she's cheating or feeling guilty, the stress of hiding her actions may cause her to feel more irritable or on edge. You might notice that she becomes easily annoyed over things that wouldn't have bothered her before. This constant irritation can lead to frequent arguments, often over trivial matters. The reason for this is that she may be projecting her own feelings of guilt or dissatisfaction onto you, creating conflict where none previously existed. 
In essence, the relationship issues she feels internally start to spill out into everyday interactions, even when there's no real reason for them. Projection is a key element of this increased criticism. When someone is struggling with guilt or conflicting emotions, they may project those feelings onto their partner as a way of avoiding responsibility or facing the truth. For instance, if she feels guilty about her actions, she may start accusing you of being distant or not paying enough attention to her. This serves as a form of deflection, shifting the focus away from her own behavior and making you question whether you're doing something wrong. You might hear things like, you never show me any affection anymore, or you're not even trying in this relationship, even if your behavior hasn't changed. This projection allows her to avoid confronting her own emotional turmoil while creating a narrative where you're at fault. Unrealistic expectations often come hand in hand with increased criticism. You might notice that she starts to expect more from you than she did before. Whether it's emotionally, physically, or in terms of your day-to-day -day interactions. If she's comparing you to someone else, perhaps the person she's cheating with, this can lead to unfair comparisons and heightened expectations. For example, she might say, Why can't you be more like so-and-so? Or, You never do romantic things for me anymore. These comments can feel particularly painful because they seem to come out of nowhere, but they're often the result of her internal dissatisfaction or comparison. Another common pattern is when she starts to pick fights over things that were never an issue before. For example, if you're used to spending time with your friends or enjoying a hobby on the weekends, she may suddenly start complaining about how you prioritize other things over her. This can feel confusing because nothing has changed on your end, but her internal shift, whether due to guilt or emotional disconnect, makes her more sensitive to behaviors that used to be acceptable. Picking fights over small issues gives her an outlet to express her frustration without addressing the real problem, which could be the infidelity or her emotional withdrawal from the relationship. Emotional distancing through criticism can also be a way for her to justify her actions. If she's feeling conflicted about cheating, one way to cope is by convincing herself that the relationship isn't working or that you're not treating her the way she deserves. By focusing on your flaws, real or imagined, she creates a mental narrative where her actions seem justified. She might say things like, you've changed or you don't care about me anymore, which can leave you feeling confused and defensive. In reality, this criticism is often a way for her to rationalize her own behavior by making the relationship seem worse than it is. Frequent comparisons between you and other people can also be a sign of underlying dissatisfaction. If she's constantly comparing you to her friends' partners, co-workers, or even fictional characters, it may indicate that she's unhappy with the relationship but isn't ready to face that truth directly. These comparisons often serve as a subtle form of criticism, suggesting that you're not measuring up to some ideal standard. This can be particularly damaging because it creates a sense of inadequacy, even if the relationship was once solid. It's important to note that increased criticism doesn't always mean she's cheating. It can also be a sign of growing frustration, unmet emotional needs, or other issues in the relationship. However, when combined with other behaviors like emotional distancing, deflection, or secrecy, it can be a strong indicator that something more serious is happening. If her criticism feels sudden, unwarranted, or overly intense, it's worth paying attention to the broader context of your relationship and whether there are other signs of infidelity or emotional disconnection. In conclusion, increased criticism is often a way for a woman to express internal dissatisfaction or guilt, especially when she's cheating. Whether it's picking fights over minor issues, projecting her own feelings onto you, or comparing you to others, this behavior signals that something deeper is going on. Recognizing these patterns early on can help you address the root cause before the relationship deteriorates further. Unexplained Defensiveness 
when innocent questions lead to anger. One of the most telling signs that a woman might be hiding something, whether it's infidelity or emotional detachment, is when she becomes overly defensive in response to simple, innocent questions. When you ask a harmless question about her day, her plans, or the people she's spending time with, and she reacts with anger or irritation, it's a red flag. This unexplained defensiveness is often a sign that she's feeling guilty or uncomfortable, and instead of addressing the real issue, she diverts attention by becoming combative. Defensiveness usually appears when someone feels threatened or exposed. If a woman is cheating or emotionally withdrawing, even the most straightforward questions can feel like accusations, prompting her to respond with frustration or hostility. For example, you might ask, What did you do today? A perfectly normal question in any relationship. But instead of giving you a simple answer, she might respond with something like, Why are you always asking me that? Do you not trust me? This type of reaction is disproportionate to the question and suggests that she's projecting her own feelings of guilt or secrecy onto you. Innocent questions about her whereabouts, her activities, or even her mood can suddenly become points of contention. If she's cheating or emotionally invested elsewhere, she may feel cornered or trapped by these questions, even if your intentions are purely to check in or show interest. For instance, you might ask, who were you texting? Out of casual curiosity, but she might react with anger, saying, Why do you care? It's none of your business. This type of defensiveness not only avoids the question, but also shifts the focus onto you, making it seem like you're the one being intrusive or paranoid. Avoidance through anger is a common tactic when someone feels they might be caught or exposed. Instead of calmly answering your question or engaging in a normal conversation, she uses anger as a way to shut down the discussion. This reaction can leave you feeling confused and even guilty for asking what seemed like a harmless question. Over time, this defensiveness can make you hesitate to ask anything at all, which is exactly what she might want. By making you feel like your questions are unreasonable, she creates a situation where her actions go unchallenged. Shifting blame is another way defensiveness can manifest. When you ask her something simple and she immediately turns it around on you, it's a way of deflecting attention from herself. For example, if you ask, are you going out tonight? She might respond with, why do you care? You're always out with your friends anyway. This type of response not only avoids answering your question, but also puts you on the defensive, forcing you to justify your actions instead of addressing her behavior. Shifting blame is a classic deflection technique, often used when someone is trying to avoid taking responsibility for their actions. Exaggerating your intentions is another common tactic in defensive behavior. She may accuse you of being controlling, overly jealous, or paranoid, for asking simple questions. For example, if you ask, who were you with today? She might respond with, why are you always checking up on me? It's like you don't trust me at all. Even if this is the first time you've asked such a question, she may exaggerate your intentions to make it seem like you're overstepping boundaries. This exaggeration serves as a way to avoid the real issue, her discomfort with the truth and shifts the focus to your behavior instead of her own. Anger as a shield is a way to prevent further questioning. When she reacts defensively or angrily to innocent inquiries, it discourages you from digging deeper. Over time, you may start to avoid asking questions altogether because you want to avoid conflict. This creates a power imbalance in the relationship where she controls the flow of information by making you feel like asking questions is wrong or invasive. The result is that she becomes increasingly secretive, while you become more hesitant to address the growing distance between you. It's also important to note that defensiveness often comes with inconsistency. If you notice that her stories or explanations change over time, or if her answers don't align with previous conversations, it could be a sign that she's trying to cover her tracks. For instance, if she says she's been at work late, but then later mentions being out with friends, these inconsistencies can trigger defensiveness when you bring them up. If you ask her to clarify something and she responds with irritation or changes the subject, 
It's a sign that she's uncomfortable with the truth being exposed. Not all defensiveness means infidelity, of course. Sometimes people react defensively when they feel like their privacy is being invaded or they're going through personal stress unrelated to the relationship. However, when this defensiveness becomes a consistent pattern, especially in response to innocent questions, it's worth paying attention. When someone is hiding something significant, like cheating, they often feel as though they're on the verge of being found out, and this constant anxiety can lead to defensive behavior even when there's no immediate threat. In conclusion, unexplained defensiveness is a major red flag in any relationship, especially when it appears in response to simple, innocent questions. If she reacts with anger, shifts blame, or exaggerates your intentions every time you try to engage in a normal conversation, it could be a sign that she's hiding something. While defensiveness can occur for various reasons, it's often a sign of deeper issues, including infidelity, and should be addressed directly before it escalates further. Shifting Priorities when she stops prioritizing your relationship. One of the clearest signs that something is off in a relationship, particularly when a woman is cheating or emotionally disconnecting, is when her priorities shift and the relationship no longer seems to be at the top of her list. This change might not happen overnight, but over time, you'll start to notice that the things she used to invest time and effort into, whether it's spending quality time together, planning future activities, or even just being emotionally present, begin to fall by the wayside. When a woman stops prioritizing the relationship, the time and attention she once gave to you may begin to diminish. Maybe you've noticed that she's no longer as eager to spend time with you as she used to be. Where she once suggested date nights, weekend getaways, or even just movie nights at home, now she seems disinterested or indifferent. You might find yourself initiating most of the plans, and even then, her enthusiasm for spending time together feels forced or obligatory. This shift often signals that her focus has moved elsewhere, whether it's towards someone else or simply away from the relationship. One of the biggest red flags is when she starts spending significantly more time on activities or with people that don't include you. It's normal for both partners to have their own lives and social circles outside the relationship, but when she begins to prioritize these things over you consistently, it's a sign that her emotional investment is waning. If she's spending more time with friends, co-workers, or even on personal hobbies, without making an effort to include you or even inform you, it can indicate that she's mentally checking out of the relationship. You may hear phrases like, I just need some space, or I want to focus on myself, which can be legitimate, but if they're said repeatedly and without any attempt to nurture the relationship, it could be a cover for deeper issues. Her absence can also manifest in smaller, more subtle ways. For example, you might notice that she's no longer texting or calling you as much throughout the day, or that her responses to your messages have become brief and delayed. Where she once checked in with you regularly or made an effort to connect, now there's a noticeable lack of communication. This decrease in contact is often a sign that her mind and heart are drifting away from the relationship. It may not mean she's outright cheating, but it does suggest that she's no longer making the relationship a priority. Another clear sign is when she starts to prioritize her own interests or needs over the relationship in ways that feel selfish or inconsiderate. For example, she may begin making plans without consulting you, or she might focus on her own goals and desires without considering how they impact the relationship. While it's important for both partners to have independence, a healthy relationship involves balancing personal interests with the needs of the relationship. If she's no longer considering how her actions affect you, it's a sign that she's emotionally disconnecting. You might find that things you used to do together are now being done solo or with others, leaving you feeling sidelined. Future plans may also start to feel uncertain or unimportant to her. If you've talked about future vacations, moving in together, 
or even long-term commitments like marriage, you may notice that her excitement about these plans has faded. She may avoid discussing the future altogether or seem indifferent when you bring it up. This lack of enthusiasm for what lies ahead can be a sign that she no longer sees the relationship as part of her long-term plans. In some cases, she may start cancelling or postponing plans without offering a real explanation, further signalling that the relationship is no longer a priority. Her emotional availability may also decrease as her priorities shift. You might find that she's less open with you about her feelings, struggles or daily life. Where she once turned to you for support or companionship, now she might seem distant or uninterested in sharing her emotional world with you. This emotional withdrawal often happens gradually, and it can be hard to pinpoint at first. However, if you start feeling like you're no longer the person she confides in or leans on, it's a clear sign that her priorities are shifting away from the relationship. Work or social commitments may also begin to take precedence. If she's suddenly working late more often, going to more social events without you, or even spending more time on hobbies or activities that don't include you, it could be a sign that she's deliberately creating distance. While it's normal for people to have busy periods or pursue individual interests, when these activities consistently take precedence over the relationship, it suggests that her priorities have changed. If she's cancelling plans with you to do these things, or if she seems relieved when she doesn't have to spend time together, it's a sign that the relationship is no longer as important to her. Another subtle but telling sign is when she no longer makes an effort to resolve conflicts. Every relationship has its ups and downs, but when a woman is still emotionally invested, she will typically make an effort to resolve issues and find solutions to problems. If she starts avoiding conflict or dismissing your concerns, it's a sign that she's no longer committed to making things work. You may hear phrases like, I don't want to talk about it, or it's not worth fighting over, which can indicate that she's emotionally disengaged and no longer sees the relationship as worth fighting for. In conclusion, when a woman stops prioritizing your relationship, it's a major red flag that something deeper is going on, whether she's cheating or simply losing interest. The shift in her priorities, spending less time with you, avoiding future plans and emotionally withdrawing, can indicate that the relationship is no longer at the forefront of her mind. Recognizing these signs early on is crucial for addressing the issue before the distance becomes too great to bridge. The sudden focus on privacy when she becomes protective of her space. One of the most noticeable and concerning changes in behavior when a woman is cheating or emotionally disconnecting is a sudden heightened focus on privacy. This shift often manifests as her becoming overly protective of her phone, social media accounts, personal space or daily routines, things she previously shared openly or didn't seem to care much about. When a woman who used to be more transparent suddenly becomes secretive, it can signal that she's hiding something or distancing herself emotionally. The first and most obvious sign of this is her phone usage. If she suddenly starts guarding her phone more closely, taking it with her everywhere, even to the bathroom, or placing it face down on the table, these are red flags. She might also become defensive if you casually ask about her phone or who she's texting. For example, if you ask, who are you texting? and she responds with irritation or says, that's none of your business. It could indicate that she's trying to hide her conversations or contacts. Even if her reaction seems minor, it's the sudden change in behavior that's most telling. If she used to leave her phone lying around without concern and now seems overly protective of it, something may have shifted in her emotional or relational world. Password protection is another signal to watch for. While it's normal and healthy for everyone to have some level of privacy, a sudden insistence on new or changed passwords for her devices or social media accounts can be a sign of secrecy. For instance, if she previously didn't mind you using her phone to make a call or check something and now becomes uncomfortable or changes her passwords, 
It could be because she's hiding something. Often, when people are emotionally or romantically involved with someone else, they become hyper-aware of the need to protect their private conversations or interactions, which leads to increased secrecy. You may also notice her sudden reluctance to share her daily activities. If she used to openly talk about her plans, who she was seeing, and what she was doing, but now offers vague or incomplete explanations, it could signal emotional or physical infidelity. For instance, she might say things like, I'm just going out with friends, without specifying who she's with or what they're doing. Or she might stop informing you about her plans altogether, leaving you in the dark about where she's going or when she'll be back. This shift to a more secretive or evasive communication style often points to a deeper issue in the relationship. She may be withholding details to cover up something she doesn't want you to know. Her social media behavior may also change. If she starts becoming more protective of her online presence, it can be another indicator of emotional withdrawal or infidelity. For example, she might suddenly start locking down her social media profiles, making posts more private, or being more careful about who sees her activity. She might even stop posting pictures of the two of you or engaging with you publicly online, something she used to do regularly. Additionally, if she becomes more secretive about who she's interacting with on social media or refuses to discuss it when you ask, it could be a sign that she's hiding something from you, whether it's someone she's talking to or the nature of her online interactions. Another sign is a sudden need for personal space. If she starts creating distance in ways that are uncharacteristic, such as spending more time alone, going out without telling you, or finding reasons to be away from home, it could be an indication that she's distancing herself emotionally. She might say things like, I need some time to myself, or I just need to clear my head, which can be legitimate requests. But if they come out of nowhere and are accompanied by other signs of secrecy, it's worth paying attention. This sudden desire for personal space can often be a cover for other relationships or emotional disconnection. Her responses to simple, casual inquiries can also change dramatically. If you ask her about her day or what she's been up to, and she responds with vague or evasive answers like, it was fine or nothing important, this could be a subtle way of withholding information. If she's emotionally or romantically involved with someone else, she might be reluctant to share details about her day because doing so would expose too much. Over time, this creates a pattern of avoidance where even simple questions are met with defensive or dismissive answers. Another key indicator is when she starts to insist on privacy where it wasn't previously an issue. For example, she might suddenly start closing the door when she's on the phone, become secretive about her computer usage, or even insist on having more alone time without any clear reason. If this behavior wasn't present before, and it's now accompanied by changes in communication, reduced time spent together, or emotional distance, it's worth considering that she may be hiding something from you. Physical distancing can also come into play. If she begins to pull away from physical intimacy, whether it's casual affection like hugs and kisses or more intimate encounters, it could be a sign that her emotional energy is being directed elsewhere. While a desire for personal space is normal in every relationship, when combined with other signs of secrecy and defensiveness, this pullback from physical closeness can indicate that she's emotionally or physically checked out. In conclusion, a sudden focus on privacy is one of the most telling signs that a woman may be hiding something, particularly infidelity. Whether it's her phone, social media accounts, daily activities, or even her physical space, this new level of secrecy is often a sign that she's distancing herself emotionally. While everyone deserves privacy, a noticeable change in behavior combined with increased defensiveness and secrecy can indicate that there's more going on than meets the eye. Recognizing these signs can help you address the issue early before it leads to more significant emotional disconnection. It's never easy to confront the possibility of infidelity or emotional distance in a relationship, but understanding these subtle signs can help you see the truth before it's too late.
From emotional distance to a sudden focus on privacy, these behaviors often signal deeper issues that shouldn't be ignored. If you've noticed any of these shifts in your relationship, it's important to approach the situation with honesty and communication rather than jumping to conclusions. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever noticed any of these signs in your own relationships? How did you handle it? Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think is the most telling sign of emotional disconnection or infidelity? If this video gave you insight, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might need it. And don't forget to subscribe for more content on relationships and psychology so you never miss out. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Thanks for watching and remember, paying attention to the little things can help you avoid the bigger problems in any relationship.